Hello, INSPRA members. Last week, you heard news from INSPRA that we have taken steps to cancel this summer's conference in St. Louis. As you can imagine, this was a difficult decision to make. And as with so many of the decisions we all have been a part of making since the outbreak of COVID-19, it's the last thing that we wanted to do. But we also recognize that it's the right decision in response to our current reality. Before making this decision, we listened to members who are facing local travel restrictions or who can't foresee a chance to leave their districts in July as they continue to navigate what a return of kids to our campuses will look like in the coming school year and many, many other complexities facing our nation's school. At the same time, we recognize that more than ever before, we need each other and we need to su the support and resources INSPRA and our chapters provide. In the coming weeks, expect to hear more from the INSPRA team about how we will continue to provide our members with opportunities for professional development and connectivity, even as we are apart from one another. Not having an opportunity to come together this summer is definitely not business as usual. <laughs> but even so, there is business of INSPRA that is moving ahead on schedule. For example, our efforts to identify a new executive director to replace Rich Bagan when he retires this spring are continuing. And I'd like to spend just a few minutes updating our membership on the work of your INSPRA board to navigate this critical transition of leadership. Rich has been a wise leader for INSPRA, who has worked behind the scenes to lead us through the ups and downs of our economy over three decades, and through a fundamental shift in association membership as our world has changed the way it communicates and the way it connects. We are a strong organization today because of Rich's leadership. And as we move into the future, we're eager to welcome a new executive director who can build on INSPRA's strong history to continue to grow our organization and its value to members in the years to come. The board has selected a search firm to assist in the identification of top candidates for our consideration. We have adjusted our plans based on the cancellation of this summer's St. Louis seminar and will next month launch a member feedback process that will allow you to have a voice in providing your thoughts to inform the board's decisions moving forward. The search timeline will allow us to identify the successful candidate by October 2020, with an anticipated start date of January 2021. This timeline will allow for a thoughtful transition of leadership before the end of Rich's current contract in March. And I want to thank my fellow board members for tackling this critical project with care and attention to the details and with a single goal in mind, to protect and refine INSPRA far into the future. They did this even while navigating their own personal experiences in their districts as dealing with the COVID-19 situation. And I wouldn't want to tackle this challenge with any other group of professionals. We are all navigating uncharted territory in so many ways, and there are many things that are uncertain about the work in which our INSPRA members are engaged. But there is one thing I am utterly certain of. You are doing incredibly valuable work to keep our communities informed and engaged in a time of high anxiety for our students and for our employees. Stay the course, INSPRA. Keep up the great work. And remember to stay connected yourself with the resources of INSPRA and our state chapters. And until we see each other again, remember, we are better together and we've got this covered.